Hey, what's up, guys? It's Arlie, and I'm here with another video. And here we go with the the next one is wait, hold on. Hidden signs: a girl views you as an alpha. So let's go ahead and check oh this my out. Gosh. So we're gonna watch it with a girl's <laughs> perspective as well as a <laughs> male's perspective. Anyways, here we go. Your mind, and, and at the, the same, same time. time give you priceless insight into how all girls think and behave. And with an understanding of this insight comes great power that any man can wield, regardless of age, background, vocation, or experience. When the word alpha is mentioned, most guys think of a large group of the line, which is great because it makes things easier to understand. But the way that most guys think of alpha is completely wrong. The modern day alpha isn't some wildly strong dude who runs around shouting and pounding anyone who resists him in your hole. The word alpha, more than anything else, represents a mindset, or a way of thinking that completely defies what most guys today are brought up to believe. Something that they don't teach in school. Hmm. It literally did that to me today. I just kept coming. I'm saying did it like show what was going yeah. on still? Yeah, it showed up on the top. Oh, okay. And something that your parents will never tell you is that girls instinctively see only two types of men, and they are accustomed to deal with one far more than the other. As mentioned in a previous video, we are currently living in a sea of beta males. So these are the types of men that girls are used to dealing with. The truth is that the real alphas of the world are rare. Many of the alphas are natural meaning they naturally have massive amounts of testosterone forcing through their bodies, and others, through repetition, have learned to become a All girls, in the first few minutes of interacting with a guy, instinctively know whether or not he is an alpha or a baby, and this instinct is what determines how she will behave around him. The word instinct means to know something without conscious thought. It's that feeling you get in your gut when something in your environment isn't quite right, but when your conscious mind can't or won't recognize the truth. Pretty much all girls are born with an instinct for reading people that is several times more accurate than the people instinct of men. And it's this instinct that allows them to quickly know when they are in the presence of an alpha or a baby. The number one sign that a girl displays when she believes that she is in the presence of an alpha is doing things to make him happy. And these things consist of several aspects of body language and other signals, which we are going to show And the key insight here is recognizing how a baby behaves when in the presence of girls. In the same way that girls begin to behave in a way that is pleasing to the alpha, men who girls would categorize as beta behave in this exact way towards girls, meaning they constantly aim to please them and make them happy. It's so important to remember that alpha is a state or frame of mind. It is a way of thinking and behaving. Being able to recognize the instinctual signs that a girl perceives you as an alpha or baby brings with it great power and momentum. According to what I'm saying, actions speak louder than words. And this is especially true in the case of girls. I remember in middle school or high school, pretty much all girls would speak loudly about how they hate players and how they can't stand the guys who are always getting into trouble. But then, when nobody is looking, it is these exact guys who the girls would hook up with rather than the guys who they would describe as being kind and sensitive. Studies actually show that when given a choice, girls would rather share one high-value alpha male than stay with a loyal beta who most people would consider to be a loser. Oh, now, in my videos, I talk about the subconscious signals that girls give off when they are attracted to a guy, and many of these signs are exactly what you see from a girl who believes that she's in the presence of an alpha. Things like the hair or constantly fitting with her hair, or finding her lower lip are all common signs. But these signs are like the branches of a tree, meaning they are all connected to a larger, much more important signal. And the main, underlying signal that a girl gives off when in the presence of an alpha is submission. In other words, the biggest tell is her body image. If a girl perceives you as an alpha, she will look at you with wide eyes and position her body in ways that are instinctively meant to be pleasing for your eyes to look at. This behavior from the girl will all seem ditzy, and you'll get that feeling in your gut, telling you that she likes you and wants you to approve of her. This behavior and these signs that girls regularly give off while in the presence of an alpha are the same exact signals that many men give money to dancers. Sad. That's sad. These are completely so basically, you have these girls out here 
They give off their body language saying, I want you. And then there's men who actually pay for that, too. So there's men that pay girls to act that way. And then there's women who actually do that for men they actually want to be with. Where they look sexy for well, the man. Well, it depends on what type of dude you are. If you're the, if you're the beta and you can't get the female because they're always chasing that but the alpha, well, yeah, you're going to pay some girls. <laughs> yeah, that's sad. That's sad. But no, like the that's beta. So the beta, is the beta like a dude that is looking to for a girl to appreciate him? Well, okay, like a beta, so, a beta uh, is a dude that does too much. What do you mean does too much? Like, what do you mean? Well, I don't, honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> like, this don't even... I, I'm so... <laughs> so do you think the subconscious thing he's talking about is true? Like, where a girl subconsciously know if you're a beta or alpha? Because, like, an alpha is seen as this dude that's not... Okay, that part, yes. You, that part, yes, <clears throat> because, like... I can look at a guy and tell, like, what kind of dude he is just by how, <laughs> like, just by how, like, he gives, gives off. But that whole alpha and the beta thing, alpha is more, they, it's more of, like, a physical appearance thing. You think it's more of a physical appearance thing? Yeah, bigger bodies, nicer face. Well, he was saying he is saying there is that which is natural, and then he's saying that there's the learned alpha. So like, there's an alpha that could be, he could be skinny, could be fat, he could be a, he could be, look a certain way, but because of the way he acts, can make him an alpha dude. Do you see what I'm saying? And then yeah. there's the natural alpha, which has a lot of testosterone, a lot of muscle, this, this, and that. So there's natural and then there's learned alpha. So. None of this. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think so different than what he is saying. Yeah. So what about the beta thing? Do you think, I'm just saying, from a female perspective, do you think there's some truth to what he's saying, though? Well, I mean, it's a part where he talks about, like, if a girl thinks that the, this dude is an alpha, some are okay with, like, sharing sharing an alpha instead of, like, being with this dude that's totally faithful. <laughs> and that's a beta. So do you think a beta <laughs> is totally faithful? Not all betas, no. Because what he was basically saying is that it's not that an alpha isn't faithful. He's basically saying that the difference between an alpha and a beta is that an alpha is a man that's going to do whatever he wants regardless. But if that doesn't mean that he's going to cheat on you, doesn't mean he's unsafe or anything. It just means that he's not necessarily looking for a woman's approval of what he does in his life. He's always the leader of the pack. Whereas a beta is probably like the dude that's like, oh, fuck that, I ain't going to do this, do that. Like, kind of like do their own thing. No, no, beta is more so someone who's looking for approval, who's insecure. So, so, if I, so if I told you, like, if I told you, oh, I think I look ugly, like, I think that everything I do in my life is ugly. Like, if I said, oh, I wish I had, I don't know, let's say I, I wish I had uh, different eye colors or shit like that. Mm -hmm. That that would kind of make me a beta because I'm not even accepting who I am oh, as a person. Okay. I'm looking for your approval. That's what he's trying to say. Okay, a then, yeah, honestly, like, naturally, naturally, girls want to seek approval from a man they like, because, like, they like you, so they want to make sure that they are, they are pleasing in your eyes, and make sure they, uh, they, you know, capturing your attention, and make sure they grab a hold of that. And you now, can't, now that so you, to a beta, you can't get that with a beta. No, because a beta, man, okay, now, okay, so, speaking from an experience, like, some of the betas, like, they, when they be asking for approval, they be showing a lot of red flags of, like, insecurities and stuff. And, like, girls, a lot of girls are already naturally insecure and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. They didn't want to be, they did not want to be with a dude that's totally insecure and, and emotionally unstable. Yeah, so they go, like, if a dude goes crazy, like, at <laughs> first, like, this is where that comes from, the nice guys. Like, if a dude goes Oh, please, baby, I'm sorry, this, this, and that. 
And then as soon as you say, no, nah, I'm not fucking with that. If a girl says, no, nah, I'm, I'm good, I think that we should be friends or... I feel like they go best. fucking crazy. They go crazy and they call you all types of bitches. Ho, <laughs> like they say, bitch, that's why I don't want you anyway. Like that, that is, that is, that's a beta. That right, uh, that right there is a nice guy, oh, beta okay. fuck ass dude. <laughs> and I think that's what he's trying to say right here. I think that's, that's what I'm getting. So basically, from guys that like he's an alpha, the guy that that is on his own shit. Like, and he's also honest. Like, he's not going to bullshit you, I guess, in a way. So that means you're an alpha. I mean, I don't consider myself an alpha. I I really don't really want to be categorized as either, you know, like beta or alpha. I I don't really believe in this shit all the time. I mean, some of it I can kind of see where he's coming from psychologically, but I don't believe in all of it. But I do think there's some truth to what he's saying. Yeah. That's why I want to ask yeah. you from a female perspective okay. what you thought of it. I mean, so, here's a little tip. Like, if you're a dude and you see this beautiful girl or whatever and you want to give it this girl and stuff, yeah. like, don't, don't put yourself out there too much. That's, that's where it'll make you look kind of stupid. You put yourself out there too much. You give up too much vibe. Well, not too much vibe. You, you give up too much. And you're constantly, you know, you're constantly asking, you know, a lot of questions. And then when other guys look at, look at the girl, whatever, that makes you feel some type of way. And then I kind of start asking a question on the girl, like, Whoa, like, why are you just like that? Da, 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 da. That, makes you, that, makes, that makes you look kind of insecure because that makes you feel like, that, that in a girl's eyes, that may make you, that may make the, the the female or a woman look at you or even a girl look at you like, oh, he doesn't even feel confident enough to think that he can keep me. That's how they're going to yep. look at it. And I go for both ways. You know, like, a dude's going to say, oh, the the way she's acting makes her feel like maybe she's not even confident or not invested in herself enough to think she can actually keep me. She's too insecure to actually think that she doesn't, she actually at that point doesn't even feel like she has a hold of me. So it can go both ways. Yeah. If you actually feel like you can't keep your partner and you feel like, outside entities can interfere with that no matter how what level it is that that shows that maybe you have a weakness in your dna or how you think psychologically and that's uh that's i think it's a pretty good interesting talk we yeah. live in a, a world with so much noise you know social media comments what people think and it's so hard to filter out what's real and what's not nowadays. Because, you, yeah. um, you know, people don't get this whole concept. You know, money was created for value, right? So a lot of people forget that value literally is money. Money is not money. Money was just created to measure value that you give to each other in society. Mm -hmm. So people think that getting money will make them happy. But that's not true. Because now you can get money so easily that it doesn't acquire value. Mm -hmm. So you gotta you gotta understand that what you're doing in life that's why they say focus on what you'd like to do, your passion or your purpose. Because yep. the money at that point would have a value to you. If you're just out here working a job you hate you're getting money, but there's no value behind it. And money was created to measure the amount of value you could give in society. Uh-huh. And, you know, part of the video where the, the, the guy said the you know, the beta, they'd be giving the money away to strippers and stuff like that. Like, personally, that does no good for you at all. Um... You think you're going to get something out of it, but really, you're losing a whole lot more than you think. Yeah, and even if you're buying sex or whatever it is... You're still losing a whole lot more than you think, because life. that girl, she's going to walk up with your money and never see you again. Yeah, and even if you're a reoccurring client, <laughs> I 
mean, the negative thank you for you other nothing other than just a client. Yeah, so it it, it it is like a very tough world out here. You gotta really know how to navigate your mind. Mm -hmm. And with betas, I guess from what your perspective is, they really don't know how to control their mind and navigate it, and don't know how to how to control their emotions and how to talk to women and yeah. understand women and connect with them. Believe it or not, dudes that understand women don't mm, truly understand women. They just understand women on a surface level. Like, they know enough to where they like if, like they if can she, navigate with them. They can understand Yeah, like if she just it. goes off, starts crying and acting crazy and stuff, like, they can be able to, you know... Handle that situation in a way. Just talk to her. Like just yeah. talking to her. Women, we just. I mean, come on. We like to communicate. Yeah. We like to talk. Yeah. So. Anyways, I hope this video was insightful. Yeah. I think it's almost finished. We could finish it though. Right. Okay. Because most men carry the beta 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 beta. So all the other different from girls is the boring, unattractive behavior that you would expect a girl would give to a guy who she perceives as beta. The other extremely telling sign that a girl perceives you as alpha occurs when a girl pursues you. It's really that simple. Girls will always chase the guys who they perceive to be alpha. Because and since the, the alpha frame is so rare, rare it is instinctively viewed by girls as extremely valuable. On the other hand, beta men are the guys who are always chasing girls, girls. but it is important to understand that the word chase simply means to seek approval, meaning girls are always seeking the approval of the alpha, and beta men are always seeking the approval of girls. I remember, I remember back in middle school, school. I messaged this girl on social, social media, media and met up with her a couple days, days later. After, after this meeting, video, she became infatuated with me, but I ended up spending most of my time hanging out with my buddies and meeting up with girls that I was more attracted to. During this time, this girl texted me constantly, making herself available any time there was even a tiny chance that I would meet up with her. And she would basically pursue me in every possible way, including using her body language when I was with her. This is precisely how it will act when she perceives you as alpha. Understand that the signs that girls give you when knowing your presence in an alpha or baby will allow you to gauge your progress in terms of how you present yourself to and behave around girls. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And until next time, thanks for watching. Okay. Crazy. How to stop being a nice guy. Okay. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much. Hopefully it was insightful. And uh, peace.